for whom today's show is dedicated to Richard Davis, founder of the USA Hemp Museum. Hemp, hemp! Hooray! 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 And uh, thanks to Savage Truth TV, are we going to um, start a new... We did. What's that? We did. We did. She's so on top of it, we're starting a new stream. So for those of you that are just tuning in, we're live on Hemp Can Save the Planet with Flesh and Bone, and it's perfect timing. Perfect timing. 6.10, Yeah, we're gonna have to do a reenactment. Can we get the King of Kush up here for an dedicatement, the birthday boy, for a reenactment of 6.10? Because 6.10, because it's always 4.20 here at the 4.20 Treehouse, 6.10 is 4.10 in international waters. It's actually 4.10 in Hawaii. Wow. So we want to shout out Seven to ten. Roger Christie and Miss Dab. Could we have the team, it takes a team to keep this show going. Could we have the Pulse Glass <laughs> team give it up for our sponsors? We're gonna do the 610 Glob with Pulse. Do you have that backpack torch? Because we bring you all kinds of new technology, like 3D hologram hoodie. And if you wanna be more incognito, like the King of Kush, you can wear it reversible. Jimmy's gonna go up on this. We're gonna go 3D with Jimmy. I mean, there are Twitter rumors being started. We got live. We got it right. We got it right. So we're gonna be using Jimmy. Jimmy going on this. Did you hear that? Did you hear that? Do you know who the fuck he's talking about when he says Jimmy? He's talking about Jimmy motherfucking Hendrix. Do you know who that is? Is, is it funny? Ready for the nap time and dad time. Jimmy Hendrix, but anyway, you can't confirm that Twitter rumor here. You're gonna have to confirm it in our show at Vegas, where Joey Art and Jimmy Hendrix and Red House Licensing is gonna be doing the thing, right? Yeah, so that we, we didn't necessarily confirm, we just heard there was a rumor. We just started a rumor. And that's how it works. Today we started a rumor that I might be signed by Mo Thugs. We started a rumor Jimi Hendrix might be on this city. Some rumors are truer than others. I'm not a virgin, hi mom. That rumor is true. I'm not a virgin anymore. I've been to the 420 Treehouse. Have you? See, get your mind out the gutter, huh? So tell them a little bit, because I'm going to do this dab. It's the only time that I'm quiet. Maybe, um, maybe Mary Jane could drive, and you could do one more dab. I mean, you know, give it up for lady drivers, huh? And shout out to the few places where I haven't smoked cannabis. Abu Dhabi, Dubai. All right. Yeah, go ahead and take off on that spaceship. Yes, indeed. Yep. Dad, the mom out. Dad, the mom out. That's right. She's floating around Jupiter right now. She's skating around the rings of Aunt Saturn right now. So she's floating past. Okay. She's up on the USS Enterprise, y'all. Yeah. Yes, indeed. Yes, indeed. That's the way it goes. But she ain't right here. This is what it's all about. Trinity House, Cold 20, Trinity House, Social Lounge, and the bomb. You gotta know the culture. You know, not so much like lifestyle, but like, not when it saves lives, when it, it's like a medical situation. So much you can worry medical, you know, dealing with your mind, dealing with your spirit, you know what I'm saying? You gotta know the him. You got to know the seed, you know, you got to know the dad. Gotcha. You know, 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 Y'all ain't gonna take me up on the USS Enterprise twice in a row. 
Hey, hey, boys. You know, we all, we all want some other shit. The star shit commander. <laughs> yes, indeed. Yeah. Yes, indeed. <laughs> Spot. <laughs> yeah, go ahead. Go ahead. I'd like to shout out to our Instagrammer brand of the week, Indecent Triple X. Indecent XXX. And I'd like Paige from Indecent Triple X to bring up the raffle tickets so we can give away a monthly membership to the 420 Treehouse. I heard that um, you were, I heard a Twitter rumor that you were about to be Become a black card carrying member of the 420 Treehouse. That's usually a $420 membership for regular peoples. And then uh, apparently, just celebrities. You know how that works? How celebrities are balling out of control anyway, but they get all this swag for free. Do you know how that works? It's strange, right? Because when you don't have any money, you need free stuff, but you're not famous enough to get it. Well, here's what's interesting. A lot of celebrities can be famous, I mean, not you, but we know some celebrities that are famous that have less currency than even yours truly, which is hard to believe, right? So, you want to explain about the difference between fame and money and the things that money can't buy because you two are some personal um, inspirations to me, and I would like you to both speak on that. Yeah, maybe 60 seconds. Uh. Yes, most certainly. So he said, "What's the difference between like fame versus money?" When she said that, it like all types of stuff registered. But to me, I think personally, what's the difference between like? Did you say recognition too? I, I, it's a whole lot of definitions just come popping in my head as. As I think about that, what's the difference between fame and money? Or I guess, like I don't know. Money can't you know, being coming through here, right. shit Yeah, money can't buy certain things, but having a certain understanding can have a, you know, bring a real cool disposition and, you know, way to approach certain things. Because fame is just one thing to be able to say, okay, I want people to understand or notice that I, that I do this, whatever, and become widely known for versus money or having money, being able to be ambitious enough to acquire and accumulate money, assets, or whatever the case may be. It takes like, the, you know, a certain level of determination to understand how to separate and balance it. Okay, this is fame over here. Okay, there's a lot of people out here who are famous, whatever, still don't know how to balance a checkbook or pay a bill or something like that, so. No, but like that like life, when it bursts, it's going to be like, like that, but it's like, you know, fame can be frivolous. Because no, without the money, without being able to do what you need to do, you're not able to get your hands on all the baby jobs, whatever. Like, like, you know, put it like that. Get to the bank, and everything, and then, you know, fuck the fact. That's how, that's always been my motto, not just as a person, or as an artist, or as a father, as a son, as a husband, as a brother, 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 as a a degree, get a GED, get a diploma, get a uh, doctor's degree, get an education period. I tell you, everything you know about money, the fame won't go wherever it is. It ain't to you, fame or money. It's in the hand of, you know, ask God for what you're doing. Whatever you want, he's going to surprise you. But I'm one of those type of individuals. So I can spoil the things about it. But fame, money, it's like sometimes, you know, having fame and money, whatever. A lot of people still don't have a balance, period. Because, uh, whatever. They think Oprah got all the goddamn answers, but you know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, not really. All right, so, but, uh, yeah, Mr. Dr. Kush, would you have Cap, Cap Kush? Cap, you can have a talk, man, you, you know. Well, I know I'm gonna get it some, so, you know, really, you guys, in, in my game, it's like, I, I've been working on the streets for 21 years. Bought a lot of things, a lot of big trucks, a lot of big international borders, and a lot of money. Millions and millions stacked, tens of millions of dollars. It's not about money, you guys. You guys gotta think about something for a little bit. He made some points, he talked about fame. Fame is short-lived, it's, it's very short-lived. 
And I've had that thing, you have to be able to seize that moment, and you have to be able to be diverse enough to figure out a way that while the fame will be short-lived, your name can get you somewhere. And during that time, you have to use that ability to rise. And as he said, and a lot of people, it's, there's one time, I, I know a lot of different people, I've been over here with the uh, health coach and Jay for a while, I've known him for a long time. And then there's my story, he knows where I'm from, from and where, 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 where I'm from, and what I really understand is it's through education, we're going to end separation. And so a lot of people need to like, dig that and really understand what we're trying to say because you can put pegs and you can put people and you can put color in a lot of places, but we can just put the person in the place, and then with that we can deal with a lot of different things. But there's a bigger place, and it is about learning and it's family. It all starts with family. Without the family that each one of us have that we leave tonight, we're all cool, we feel so cool, we're all cool inside. But you know what, the only people that really matter how cool we are is the people that are sitting at our homes. And those are the people that we really should be cool with, and the people that we care about the most, because those are the people that care about us the most. And the money is a lot of money, it feels good, and you can rub it on yourself and rub it on your else. But the reality of it is, is it doesn't heal, it doesn't help, and it doesn't do anything more than make you feel, well, like wasting money. So at the end of the day, it's about you, it's the person. So I just hope that people realize if you ever are and have the opportunity to make money, don't forget where you came from, don't forget who you are, because it wasn't the money, it was the man that made the money. And you guys, thank you. Give thanks to the most high so we can stay the most high. Give it up to inspiration. I want to say thank you to both of you. And I want to recognize the people in this room and the people at home right now and the people all around the globe. We want to say what up to Global Rev who allegedly taught us how to live stream the revolution. And I want to wow. shout out to Savage Truth TV, who I met on the steps of City Hall, occupying. And I want to shout out to all of you who are the revolution. And you might not even know it. So I want to thank you for living through it. But you have a choice. You have a choice and a responsibility and a duty to do what you like. What? What? Let me say that again. We're doing what you li we like. You're doing what you're told. Don't do what you're told. They're lying to you. They're lying to you. And listen, shout out to my co-director and world famous artist and another inspiration always in life. The, the, the one who taught me how to step and repeat it, Shepard Fairey of Obey Giant, who is a giant to me, my co-director, who taught me truly about freedom of expression. And listen, I don't mean to disobey when I say you've got to disobey if they're lying to you, if they're telling you a lie, whether they have a badge, or a lab coat on, or if they went to Harvard, if they're telling you misinformation, you don't have to do what they said. And a uh, nice sheriff told me the other day that they don't much like to be compared to Nazis. And I explained that I don't much like to hear that people are just following orders. We don't want to be not compliant. We just want to be sure they're the right orders. We want to put it in the right order and get the history correct. So we appreciate everybody here who is socializing because they think that we're just here getting high in California and they think that we're a big joke, you know? And so I want to explicate that the jesters aren't the fools, you know? And I might be a clown to you, but you thought I was down to you. And the truth is, if we don't try to remediate Fukushima, we're all gonna be blazing a trail that you don't wanna know. So please blaze up 
and smoke. And thank you for toking out. I want you to say a few words because you can't stay with us much longer, but you're going to announce the winner of a month membership to the Treehouse. So do you have your raffle tickets out? And give them for yourselves for knowing the truth about cannabis hemp. We have another celebrity in the building. Can we have a ride on for Richard Eastman? Right Yeah, but yeah, but do Melissa Ballin and the hemp and Richard. 